without delay. Well, look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. At least I assume it's you in there. It's a little hard to tell. <laughs> How have you been since, um... everything? I am glad. Genuinely, a few would make the sacrifice you did. <laughs> Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as in from the moment I've... I will... All this stimulating conversation leaves you hungry. To speak is not enough. You wish to explore the brain of your friend with your beak. A starian's sweet brain may be a bit less wrinkled than the rest, but you hunger for its teasing cells. His parietal lobe, which controls his sense of touch, will be an aphrodisiac in your maw. You shall dine well tonight. But you hunger for its teasing cells. His parietal lobe, which controls his sense of touch, will be an aphrodisiac in your maw. This is highly illogical. There are plenty of other craniums awaiting your suction. And this is a prize ally. And besides, this brain before you, its endorphins are in a joyous flow. It is a wonderful scent. The odor of friendship. Hunger for its teasing cells. His parietal lobe, which controls his sense of touch, will be an aphrodisiac in your maw. The buffet table at this party bears pie, punch, and cocktail sausages. No respite shall be had at this pitiful smorgasbord. On consuming a brain, you become one with its owner. Every memory blends with yours. What better reunion than this eternal bond? You shall dine well tonight. Fascinating. Thou hast ventured long with thy comrades, shared food, fire, and friendship, but even such adamantine bonds could not prevent thee from ruining my party. <laughs> 